This is the RF-04 Valkyrie Dreadnought. This is a reforged Eden Endgame 68 Quantum Core Dreadnought. It's the most powerful ship I've ever built. But unfortunately, due to a number of changes in Reforged Eden, it was rendered obsolete due to the new requirement of needing extensive internal rework for shield arrays, capacitors and chargers, and fusion power generators. As a result, it's been sat obsolete on my workshop for I don't know how long. A while. Because the task of updating it with all that new internal space is quite daunting and I'm not even sure it's possible. But then uh, some members of the Scavenger Alliance over on my Broken Eden server decided to take that as a bit of a challenge. Well, you, you, you did all the work on it, didn't you? Yeah, Bob. Uh, no, I, I butchered something. That was butchered good. it. <laughs> uh, but it, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad really you, it. as the if you like the the um, the customizer um, of the original design, uh, is here to because um, you put in a shitload of work to get that out. Uh, yeah, yeah. But like, we, <laughs> yeah. we were all we were all busy in the game at the time, and yeah. I was uh, I was uh, kicking about, kicking off by myself, yeah. basically. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Did you fly it? Did you fly it at all, Bob? The Valkyrie? Yeah. yeah. So it's the, it's the, it is the Valkyrie and not the Vin, uh, Vindicator. No, it's, it's Valkyrie. The Valkyrie, yeah. The Asgard remake. Oh, shit, I see it. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hey, this is a nice yeah. looking ship. Who built this? Which one? There you go. There's some acting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there we go. You've right. put stuff on this, like new stuff, like thermal lances. You put yeah. thermal lances on this thing. Those they're, they're not cheap. Where oh, it's a, yeah, there's a. This is a monster. Your your um your original concept has been taken to extreme. Been taken, and then corrected. Yeah. I mean, outside wise, I don't see any changes to dimensions. I gotta be honest. I half expected when you said you, that you'd, you'd done retrofitted. I half expected some kind of like monstrosic brick to be a place on the outside of it somewhere to fit the reactors. Yeah, yeah. I can see that there's a lot more engines yeah. here, no, there, and everywhere. Yeah, and, and it does say it says say cheese on the front. <laughs> and um, it's not like it was sh short of drive thrusters when I built the damn thing. No, I took some out of this I see. piece here. Yeah, you've got some out of the um, forward um, drives there, haven't you? But they're, they're, they're down or top and bottom to add to pitch on the um, weapon fin. Yeah. So, yeah. Bobo and the rest of the SAS worked um, throughout the season of Reforged Eden on my server to essentially bring the Valkyrie up to date retrofit it and improve upon it <laughs> and they have managed to keep um, it's pretty much its original design uh, largely intact now one of the key things that they've changed here is they've actually moved the thrusters out um, it's very important for thrusters on a um, on a on a sort of combat ship to be out on the, the farthest points of the ship if you imagine a cube you would have all the thrusters in the corners of that cube and you'd get the best performance. So they've taken some of the thrusters off of uh, the rear here where they were just in a line, which is, mm, I put them there to kind of try and maintain the the image of the sort of Asgard style destroyer, you know, where the engines were just in a line on the back there. And as you can see, they've added them, um, they've added them at the top and bottom of the fins and this greatly improves the pitch uh, performance of the vessel. And they added some on the outer fins here as well, as you can see, kind of um, holes that they stick out quite a bit, don't they? <laughs> um, that appears to be bumper to bumper in, in thrusters there, so there's not much wiggle room in getting them to sit into the hull much uh, more than they are. Um, but they're there to improve um, the roll, and your 
of the vessel as well. So just a quick comparison here. This is the modified Valkyrie. It's got a roll of 31, a euro of 20, and a pitch of 20, which is respectable for a ship this size and 64.4 kilotons of weight. To compare that with the Valkyrie over here, 13 roll, 8 yaw, and 7 pitch, um, you know, at 110 kilotons of weight. It, it, they've made a considerable saving uh, and improvement on the performance of this thing with the addition of those thrusters. You can see here that there are no thrusters in the tops and bottoms of these weapon fins. You've got the full array of thrusters in the back there, and you've got nothing out here on the fins at all. Just to give you an idea of the modifications that they have thusly made. A lot of the thrusters I tried to hide into the hull a little bit to try and um, hide them away, basically, and not have them as a as a big gaping feature on the on the ship. Uh, there's an aesthetic choice over a performance thing, and you can see that I've tried where I can to add thrusters um, in the sort of forward and back positions there, but you know the performance comparison between these two is just leagues apart um you know there's an additional down thruster in this cluster as well i hadn't noticed before adding those thrusters up on the pylons there seems to have made a big difference and the extra thrusters out on the the fins and another big difference as well it's very clever work so yeah. this is new i'm on the bridge yeah we've installed a ramp up to a Last bridge. Can you actually get a decent enough view out of that? I suppose. Yeah, you've built. You've 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 dug a trench, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> you can see the trench. I, that's it. what I say. Well, I, I kind of got it a little bit, but yeah. I tried to keep it as you know as um, original Let's as I could. See. Okay, well, yeah, it's not a bad trench. No, no, no. That's fine. It gives it gives you a uh, gives you a flying uh, flying bridge. From an RP point of view, you do realise they were giant laser capacitors, right? And now you've just breached them, so there's a catastrophic explosion that's going to rip the ship in two. I, yeah, I messed with this a little bit. I was trying to get the um, artilleries to fire in, like, an arrowhead. Right. Messing, basically. Um, yes, you've got some in the forward. I mean, f yeah, from, um, from a gameplay point of view, having them in the staggered like that does do more damage. I think that was proven. Right here, I think I'm getting to the bit that you gutted. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> you like your heavy glass, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they basically all the brew quarters areas. Um Yeah. The RP stuff the, though, the whole place, it's Yeah, good. yeah, all the RP stuff. To be honest, that's the best place. And really the only real realistic place you could have got it, isn't it? It's uh it was, um, it's like, it's, I'm gonna go move this. Go to that area, it kind of turned the ship more into, you'll see when you fly it, it's, it's more of a shield, a shield, uh, spinny kind of ship now than it was. A shield fighter rather than a tank. Yeah, well, like, do the spin with it as well. Yeah, it spins, does it? Yeah. Given how bloody wide this thing is, it, you managed to get it to spin. Yeah, just That's... like make sure there's absolutely nothing around you before you <laughs> start to roll. <laughs> yeah, this, I don't know how you manage this. How many fusions? You got three fusion cores in here. Yeah, right. I didn't realize you got four in it. And you got eight arrays. It's all of the shield power. All of the shield power. So yeah, from an internal point of view, he's done some changes. Well, he's ripped out all of the sort of forward RP section, the midship RP section. The reason I made all this whole uh, area here kind of like quarters and canteens and things like that, because I mean, it was all just spaced armor, really. Um, additional spaced armor. Now, with uh, the SAS refit here, we've got three fusion reactors and eight... Um, the glowies aren't working on that but there we go they're not spinning either what is going on um eight shield capacitors arrays that's the words i'm looking for um up here in the front section it does leave very little room for armor in the sides so big big weak spot is sitting in the side there uh, there's still a, a reasonable few layers from the bottom um 
and the the top i suppose as well but that's that's quite it's all quite thin basically it's all quite thin so he's done really well to get the shield chargers and capacitors and stuff in here and the most important thing the fusion reactors three of the buggers <laughs> that's a lot of power that is a lot of power so currently generating 1.72 megawatts of power um you know idling here at consuming 103 kilowatts that's not bad at all really is it that's not bad at all so yeah there's the um the trench he made there as well for the cockpit um so that you can actually see in first person i suppose this is for sniping the uh the main guns the 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 cannons although there's not really much you can see you'd have to have the eyes of an eagle to snipe anything with that but uh yeah it's an impressive refit to get those things in there they would not have thought they would have fit to be honest they really wouldn't <laughs> and then to have a spaced armor as well around them very good um yeah i'm impressed i'm impressed i mean that is when I was thinking about retrofitting this thing and trying to get fusions and stuff in that, that is really the only place I always think it would be possible without gutting the entire ship and starting from scratch, of course. You know, so fair enough. Now he's used the heavy glass here because it has a, has a very good explosion um, resistance. So the idea with the heavy glass here is that if one reactor goes, it doesn't just like chain react all three. Uh, the glass should contain it. Uh, to an extent and he's done the same with the arrays although i'm not sure that's entirely necessary but i'll double check that um but yeah he's got all eight arrays three fusion reactors in here uh, so let's have a look at the original here just a quick second just so you can see the space that he has used here you can see i've um, got a couple of the advanced so obviously this was before fusions were a thing um so we've got the power the power um uh, array here power station that's the words and so that is basically the same as what it was but there's a lot more armor on all dimensions between the outside and the inside with these much smaller generators now, of course when i built it these generators were enough to, to power this thing but obviously many changes are taking place since then. so this is the sort of thing that's been taken out you can see you know there's crew quarters here um and stuff around there's canteens and boardrooms and <laughs> it's just stuff like that and then it links up with the corridors to the um container extensions now these these are still in place to be fair in the new ship as well um but yeah you've got the power station here i suppose it's not hugely different it's just um everything from about this about here onwards has been redone gutted and um, reformed into this so yeah here's the, here's the stairs look uh, so of course you've got uh, he's put stairs up as well so that you can go over the top of the reactors and down into the corridor on the far side which is where the uh, container extensions are there we go pretty good pretty good yeah I I've I took it in to like a a Xerox area with like maybe two Tveras and a whole heap of other ships and then it blew up everything. It was you, there's not much salvage left if you turn on yeah. turn on all of the hurts. A f maximum destruction enable everything and just then face plant yourself into something and uh, watch the fireworks, eh? Yeah, I recently added um, a couple of heavy plasma turrets onto the top fin as well. Oh, there they go. There they are. Blap, blap, blap. Heavy plazies. Yeah, yeah. Spins. <laughs> Spins. That's, that's nuts. This thing didn't, well, I mean, it did spin, obviously, but it just took about a year to do it. What's it? Warp drive? Is it advanced warp drive? No, it's the yeah, full. Shut up! Is the antimatter? Yeah. Really? There's a star that <laughs> I have marked out. here. I can't believe you put so much. 
in time into your vanity project. That's nuts. There's, um, I have a Tavera marked close enough. Go kill that. Well, well, well. B5 foam. Bum. I smell Tavira scam. 20 kilometers away. May as well get a cup of tea. <laughs> Here we go. Miss. Tavira open, opens the big one. Holy. Fudge monkeys. <laughs> Am I supposed to be doing a spinny spinny on this thing? Does it really matter at this point? Because its shields are already down. Seals are already down here. Yeah, one shot and they were gone. Wow, look at that. Oh, boom. And then and then we basically just like shoot it about there with the heavy artilleries and oh, that was a bit forward actually. Look at that thing spinning around like an absolute crazy Jay. Vera is spinning around like he's a freaking SV. Look at those thermal lances, look at them go. They look, they look spectacular, i got to admit, though. Yeah. Hang on, line up out. That's three round. That hit, that hit roughly around, around where the core is, I think. Oh, no, an interdictor drone. drone. Watch in. out. <laughs> Trouble now. Yields are at 80%. Right. The trick yeah. is with these two viewers is to, like... I don't know exactly where the core is because I've not really studied them that much, but like the bullseye of the core without destroying the auxiliary cores or the other, uh, the quantum is right next to them though, isn't it? Because you can just eradicate the center of the ship until there's nothing left and you completely gutted it. But I think a lot of players, they use the, um, that rail gun, that mounted rail gun, don't they? They like do surgery on Tavira's. Oh. Penetration. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was a bit of a bang. It was, wasn't it? I would have thought I would have hit the core by now, but then that probably means I'm not shooting in the right place. But is that the top or the bottom of the ship? <laughs> oh, it is the bottom. It is the bottom. I was right. I shoot it in the belly. I thought around about there. But my shields are twenty percent. Vera is doing a bit of a number. Yeah, the bomb. The uh, red. <sighs> Trusters. Oh, yeah. Big old lag spike. There it is. Finally. Thought I could see a little red glint. Turrets and stuff. Bing. Go. Like toying with it. Wasn't it? <laughs> playing with it. You're playing with your food. Well, there we have it. Even in the hands of an absolute amateur. Bear in mind that I probably have two reforged Eden Tavira kills on my record and one of those was just then and the other time was with the Chaos crew so there were five other ships <laughs> I do not know uh, Tavira's very well I certainly don't farm them uh, like so many of uh, the guys in the community do they know them so intimately they know exactly where to shoot the core out so my point is even in the hands of a complete absolute amateur this ship it was like toying 
the Tavira. It was just phenomenal. An absolute beast. Completely overpowered. Completely over-engineered. <laughs> and completely fun to play. What an absolute monster. It's great to see the Valkyrie um, actually in action again. Reborn from uh, the mothball that it was in. Um, and it, it is uh, the biggest thank you goes out to uh, the Scavenger Alliance over on my Broken Eden servers. Thank you very much, guys. Particularly to Bob there, who did a lot of the work, a lot of the quantum farming, the refit on the interior and stuff like that. But obviously the whole faction worked together to pull the resources to bring this thing back to life. And um, I'm thoroughly impressed and incredibly grateful. So um, what I'm going to do... Um, I won't have time by the time this episode comes out, unfortunately, because I literally recorded that yesterday. But I think what I'm going to do is take Bobo's um, recreation here. I'm going to see if I can do a little bit of tweaking um, of the thrusters housing to make them look like they stick out a little less. Mm, you know, integrate these thruster nozzles a little better uh, around here. See if I can add a little bit of flair and, and f sort of some final touches, as it were. Um, I'll need to get rid of the auxiliary cores. I'll need to get rid of the thermal lances and the other the um, things that prevent this thing from being a normal blueprint. As you can see, it's red, uh, so it's um, yeah, it, it's not allowed basically. <laughs> but I don't, I don't want to get it into a state where it can go on the workshop. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, so you do for prefab info and then in commas you put the exact blueprint name and uh, then at the bottom here it tells you that there are forbidden blocks so we can see the auxiliary shielded uh, blocks that are used in the uh, shield room and the eden turret e4 thermal lances so there's only those two that actually prevent it that's these two turrets here the thermal lances there which are incredibly expensive and i can't believe that he put them in here and if we go into the shield array room here you can see he's used all of the auxiliary cores uh, as shield they're all shield cores so uh this thing relies wholly on 96 quantum cpu cores uh which can go in a blueprint and i'll keep them in the blueprint there because ultimately you're going to need them anyway um so <laughs> it's a bit of a no it is a complete and utter dash 22 ship because you need to be farming to Vera's in order to build this thing um and get enough quantum cores to bring it in so that you can then absolutely obliterate Tavira's uh, for giggles. Uh, but I did. The good news is that Tavira, though, blew up there. Uh, the quantums were intact. So despite the enormous amount of damage that I did to that thing, uh, it is actually still a viable, um, viable uh, 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 loot, quantum loot. There. So <laughs> I got very lucky, I think. <laughs> My inaccurate artillery lobbing. Um, but anyway, ladies and gents, I do hope you enjoyed that. Again, big thank you to the Scavenger Alliance over on the Broken Eden servers. The community is fantastic, and I think they're all wonderful, wonderful people. So if you are looking to maybe delve into multiplayer Imperion, perhaps for the first time, perhaps return to it, and maybe you're just looking for some guys to hang out and chat with Imperion, um, of course I'm biased, but I do highly recommend the Broken Eden community. You can join the community for as little as $2 a month over on Patreon. Uh, become a member here on YouTube or become a Twitch driver on my Twitch channel. Uh, join my Discord. All the information is there and you'll get access through Discord as well. I hope you enjoyed the Valkyrie. Refit will be on the workshop as soon as I can get my butt into gear and actually make it there. Hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.